high. Some people take that face, uh, fascination to greater heights and they call the sport skydiving. Now, some people say you have to be crazy to try it, but I had to find out for myself. Before you can fly like a bird in the sky, you've got to start on the ground. Out we go. Tandem free fall is a relatively new angle to skydiving. Instead of spending hours and hours in a classroom learning how to jump on your own, you spend less than one hour learning how to ride together. Instructor Brad Foster does all the work, and you're just along for the experience. You're hooked together front to back like Siamese twins, two people and one parachute. Stand by. Stand by flare. You spend most of your time learning how to get out of the airplane. It all seems pretty simple on the ground. Now, put your hands in position, put your head back, and we'll say ready, then two. Ready, set, go. And on go, keep your hands in position. Now, mm -hmm. if you go out on me like this, and one hand goes, yep. we're liable to do a barrel roll in this direction. While you wait for your airplane to return from somebody else's jump, you suit up for your flight in some of the silliest looking gear you have ever worn. Bullethead. Just remember, you're not bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes very quickly now. The plane pulls up, everyone piles in, and it's off you go into the wild blue yonder. It's pretty cramped inside the aircraft. There's Bill, the pilot, the jumpers, and photographer Don Harvey, rigged up with a special helmet camera to record all the action in the air. Finally, the door opens at 11,000 feet. The rush of air hits you square in the face. Don climbs out of the wing with the helmet camera. Brad pushes you out the door and you wonder, what the heck am I doing? We will show you tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. That's me, me, me. <laughs> to be continued. That's one of those old serials, you know, from the oh, Hollywood uh, days. Tomorrow the jump. It uh, was really something. I am nervous. Just, just watching? seeing you up there. You know, you know who's nervous? I didn't tell my dear old mother that I was doing this, <laughs> and I tried to call her all day. Mom, I'm okay. Nothing happened. I'm fine. She we he's landed. really here. I'm touching yeah. him. <laughs> Both legs work still. She can't answer the phone. She fainted. Yeah. <laughs> very, very unique experience, though. People ask me, how do you feel when you do that? You're not really conscious of what's going on around you, but afterward, Life seems so easy and so <laughs> mundane. If, if you can jump out of an airplane at 11,000 feet, you can pretty much do what you want. Bad enough for you, but how about Don Harvey walking out on the wing? Cameraman Don been... Harvey is, is by far one of the most brave people I've seen in my life. To do that and to come back with the pictures that we'll show you tomorrow, this guy is, is good. You'll As see it the camera is on his helmet. Yeah, we'll show you the jump tomorrow. It's a little teaser. Not a nice thing to do your mother, Bob. No, I'll no. say that. For you. I know you want me to say that. <laughs> Finally, we introduced you to tandem free falling yesterday, the newest innovation in the sport of skydiving, a way to experience all the thrills of the sport without spending hours and hours in the classroom. Now, we have shown you the preparation, now the payoff. The world looks very different from 11,000 feet, especially if you're just along for the ride. That's the fascination of tandem skydiving. Instructor Brad Foster does all the work and you have all the fun. Strapped together front to back with one parachute between you. It's ready, set, and here we go. You've lost all orientation. Down is up and up is down. Finally, you stabilize. The roar of the air rushing by is deafening. You reach terminal velocity past 100 miles an hour. You continue falling below 9,000 feet, then below seven. And finally, at 4,000 feet, Brad pulls the parachute. Suddenly, it's quiet. You can enjoy the ride and the fantastic scenery. It's 45 seconds of violent free fall, followed by two and a half minutes of serene solitude. And before you know it, the ride is over. You aim for the target, flare the parachute, and you're down. <laughs> that was incredible. That was just incredible. Thank you, Brad. My God. <sighs> well, it's the kind of smiles we like to see. That's what the sport's all about. I have never had that feeling, ever. And a big thank you to the people at Adventure Aerosports. They took us up, and our cameraman, Don Harvey, was the man who jumped with the camera. He deserves a lot of credit on that one. Sure does. You should all try it. <laughs>
sure you have stand. Do some more S turns. Marty, do a few more S turns. Do a few more S turns. There you go. That's good. Now fly it in. I'll stand up. <laughs> Yay! He's going out at 10, so we can go out last then. Yeah, we'll go out last. Okay. Okay, move over to the door. I got you right now. Okay. We'll have you first out. Yeah, solo. About four seconds. When you're leaving. Four to five seconds. So the first, second. Well, I'll find out exactly on the way up. She's going to jump out of a real airplane here. I'm her jump master. I'm single. <laughs> Bar twice, no kids. And he's no, sitting on my feet. I'm sitting on her feet. We had to leave like this. We, we could. Fun. It would be real awkward. <laughs> but uh, I'm hooking this up right now in case. My form wasn't as good. You know, it's kind of a scramble for the board. Uh, <laughs> I got on the strut of my thing. I was thinking I'll take that to do. And...
There you go. Feet knees together. Now, get on. All right. <laughs> See how easy that is to pull in? Yeah. It's down. Great landing. How big is yours, sir? 220. Don't need any more. See, we put these. You know, uh.